We're back. We are. Yes. And still ready to go. We have so much to do because when we're at home, when we're in the kitchen, mm -hmm. uh, in the dining room, sitting a lot of the time, we want to be very, very aware of what we're doing with our body and we want to make every moment count and being purposeful about taking care of our health. And today we're going to talk about the foundations of our health, which is our feet. So from the feet up, we're going to be working on having strong feet uh, to maintain balance, strength, flexibility for our legs, our posture, everything else. But of course, we wouldn't be able to do this without... That's right, the New Age Hippie. New Age Hippie is a non-profit organization and it's local on a global mission where they're actually getting contributions from businesses and individuals that are allowing us to continue doing videos for free locally and globally. So grateful. Thank you very much for all of you who have contributed. All right, so let's get started. So I'm going to work with Deirdre today, and the first thing I want to talk to you about is her feet. So our feet are just, did you see that look? <laughs> our feet are so much, they're phalanges, they work, and they're supposed to work like this. You're able to grab, you're spreading them open and closing them. So when we get started and you're in your chair, do me a favor. If your lower back is tight and it's uncomfortable to get a full seat comfortably sitting up, place a pillow behind so you're sitting nice and tall. I'm looking at her shoulders and her shoulders line up with her hips. Hips are lined up with her knees and now her knees are lined up with her ankles. Perfect. She's perfect. Don't tell her that, but she's perfect. So now moving on to the feet side. If I said I wanted her just to pick her toes up, leave her heels down and pick her toes up. As soon as you pick your toes up, and go, let's do both at the same time. So your heels are down, your toes are up. Boy. Ooh, boy, Ooh. yes, I feel that right up through oh, my shoes. Absolutely, and then Ooh. gently lowering them down. So keep the toes relaxed, and when you pick up the toes, put the pressure into the heel and just lift straight up, mm. and then gently lower. So this is all about range of motion when you're walking and how you get those different mm. turns. So pick them up and then lowering them down. And again, pick them up and lower them down. It helps to use a good breath. So if you take an inhale breath and lift them up, exhale breath and lower them. Nice inhale breath and lift up, exhale breath and lower. Good, we'll do two more. Picking them up, lowering them down. And one more time, picking up. Got pretty tight, didn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And I feel the muscles oh, here working. all the way up. Yes. Absolutely. Powerful. Wonderful. Now, I want you to go ahead, and you might want to make sure that your ankles are still lined up with your knees since you did the last one. Now, I want you to pick up your heels. So, when you pick up your heels, push down on the ball of your foot. Very similar to, again, the palm of your hand. Push on the bubbling well. Push the ball of the foot, and then gently lower. So, you're picking up your heel, you're picking up your body. Yes. You lower it, you exhale breath. So we're still getting all the motions of the foundation. We're working on all those different areas of the foot. Mm. And nice lifting up, exhale breath. Good. And let's do three more for me. And gentle breath, exhale breath. And two, straight up and lower. And one more time, lifting the heel and lowering. Good, now I want you to go ahead and let's just extend one leg out for a second. Just stretch it forward. Put the heel down on the floor and just look at your toes. Can you open your toes, stretch them open and then relax? Some of you will be very uncomfortable doing this. If you're looking at your toes, they become very shy and they get uncomfortable when you're staring at them. So sometimes mindfully stop looking at them and open them and then relax. It's easier. Open them and relax. Good. Let's do that one more time. Open and relax. Good. Now you got to stretch. So you're going to bring that knee back in, place that foot lined up and extend out, heel down. Don't stare at your toes. Open the toes and relax. You'll be amazed how one side wants to work so much easier than the other mm -hmm. side. And lower. Are you watching your expression on her face while we do these? <laughs> Open and close. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> that tells and, the story of all the two. Story. It does. <laughs> and one more. Perfect. And lower. Now bending that knee. And again, don't put the feet behind the knee. Leave the ankles lined up with the knee. Let's extend out on this leg, the other leg again. This time I want you to just gently pick the leg off the floor just a little bit and do a full circle with the ankle. So, as 
Deirdre was doing the full circle with the ankle, watch out that all of a sudden she doesn't decide to bring the whole leg in. She just wants this ankle to make and draw a circle and her big toe is responsible for that circle. Let's do two more and one. You can see where she's getting a good contraction in her calf. Now let's rotate and go the other direction. Again, if you feel that your knee and your hip are starting to move, stop looking at your foot. Look away from it and visualize it in your mind. Amazing. They're very shy, as a matter of fact. I hate to say this, but they're very shy. And two more. Perfect, and lower. Did you feel that all the way oh, up into your quad? I did. Good. I did. But it feels wonderful, too, because there's certain muscles here at the side that we don't often stretch, and I could feel that pulling. Beautiful. Exactly. It felt very it's relaxing. a restriction, so we compensate a little bit. So when Deirdre felt it more in the circle going counterclockwise, it has a lot to do with when you're walking, what's really happening in your stance. So if it's uncomfortable or making a funny noise, it tells you that that's not the normal way you walk. You're walking away from that. So just another thing to remember. Let's do the other side. Again, when I pick up the foot, it's only a little bit off the floor because I really want to engage and feel that muscle. Working only the ankle, the big toe is responsible for the carving out the circle. If you start seeing your knee and your hip playing the game, stop looking at those feet. Visualizing it in your mind. And there's a little snap crackle going on on her ankle to this side. That says something right there. Mm -hmm. And then reverse the other direction. Is it in English or in Gaelic? Oh, What's it saying? <laughs> it's saying she's using her hip a lot more on one side than the other. I don't know if that's from closing the car door. And gently lowering the foot down and relaxing it down. Now my favorite one, the last one. So I want to ask that if you make sure when you do the video, bring this in. It's just a piece of paper towel. You can use a Kleenex or toilet paper. Just a gentle, just crumbled up a little bit and then place it on the floor in front of you. And I want you to visualize. Don't try to stare at the foot. I want you to visualize your mind. This is what's really important about connecting mind and body. Opening your toes. You're grabbing for the tissue with your toes, squeeze and lift up, and then gently lower down. Every time you finish, release it, put the foot back over there, do the same one again, open the toes, pull in, and grab it, and then lower. Multiple things are happening. You got all the tendons in here that are working. I want you to think about toes are building that balance for your body, okay? They need to have that grip and you need to have space them just like your fingers. So we grab and pull. She's gonna know how this feels later. Wow. I know. <laughs> it seems like such an easy exercise. You're staring at them. <laughs> Stop looking at them. See how she grabbed better? I'm telling you, your foundation is slightly shy. They don't get seen very often. So all of a sudden when you start staring at them, you put a little bit of pressure. There you go, one more time. Good. Wow. So she's, that, you're just getting tired. It's starting to fatigue. That's only five. Right, so it starts to fatigue, that's great. That means it's working for us. Let's go to the other side. A little crumble, and now you're gonna work on those. It's gonna be different on this side, watch. Always has one side so much easier than the other side. But always release it. Go back to opening them first, grabbing them, and pulling them in, and lowering. So boy, she's working more than just her feet right now. Toes open, squeeze and pull it in, and lowering it. Good job. Got two more to go. Yes, I, I do. know. Grab and pull in. Very important. And lower. One more time for me, please. And open the toes. Grab and lower. Perfect. So now, when you finish this, the idea is to go forward to pick this up and properly pick it up so we're not putting a lot of pressure in our lower back. So when you're finished, this is your test. You bring your feet forward a little bit of your knees. And as you bring your feet forward of your knees, you lift your body up as if you want to see something out the window. You're being the nosy neighbor and you bend from your hips. You go down and pick up that beautiful tissue you just used. And then you take your breath and on your exhale breath, you stand up. So there is your homeworks on how important it is that we have a lot of time to work on our feet, our foundation. You are sitting a lot more than normal, and we need these to work. So it helps with range of motion. 
It's great for stability and balance, and it's definitely right brain, left brain. Absolutely, and I can actually feel now the muscles are alive, the yes. blood is flowing, you know, things are not sluggish. It's really a powerful form of exercises. Well worth doing. Thank you. Thank Sarah. you, Feet. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. And again, drive through RX for good health. We'll see you soon.